What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video which was like inspired by or I got the idea from Emily Boo. If you don't know who she is, where the heck have you been? <laughs> I'll link her below. She's super cute. She's from the UK too, which is hella good and I freaking love her. She's a mermaid, so what's not to love? So yeah, I'll link her below. So, video is 10 strange facts about me and I thought this would be really fun to film because A, it's not like a like a haul or a review or first impressions, it's nothing like having products and showing products and stuff so it's a nice refreshing break from showing you loads of things. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be really fun to film. Um, people tell me all the time that I'm a weirdo and I don't really care. I would, would rather be weird than boring. <laughs> uh, so before we get super into this video, this headpiece is from Gothic Hats, which I can link below, but they don't sell this headpiece online. Um, my top is Killstar, my hair dye was done in a salon, so I don't know what the, the thing is. I'm pretty sure he said it was called Rust, the brand, I'm not entirely sure, and he mixed two colours together. That's all I know. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, so. Strange fact number one is I can smell heat and I can smell water. That sounds really, really weird, but I googled it and it turns out that not that many people can smell heat and water. So, for example, if someone's turned the hair straighteners on, or someone's just used a hair dryer, or I don't know, there's like there's a fire. There's see a fire is quite a, a common smell. But I can smell heat, so like when someone turns the laminator on at work, or there's a glue gun, like I said, hair straighteners, I can just smell heat. That's <laughs> can't explain it, I can just smell it. And water as well, if I go into the bathroom and the bath is full, I could like walk into the bathroom with my eyes closed and tell you whether or not there's water in the bath because I can smell the water. It's really, really weird, but yeah. <laughs> fact number two, or strange fact number two, is me and my younger sister both have an obsession with damp flannels or damp laundry like when we were little you know when you're a kid and like you bath with your siblings so me and my sister were in the bath and we would always grab the flannels that my mum kept on the side of the bath and like put them on our face and just sit there and smell them i don't know what it is but the, the smell of a damp flannel is so good and damp laundry Oh my goodness, when I'm doing the washing and I'm hanging it out on the air, I just sit there, smell each piece of clothing before I put it away. Like, it just smells so good. Like, damp laundry is good because you've got, like, the softener and whatever, and it smells really good. But just a damp one always, like, when it's been left for a while. Love it. <laughs> um, the air con at work is really, really old, and only one of the things works. So there's only air con on one aisle at work. So every morning, I race to be the first one to turn it on. That I can walk down the thing and just smell because it smells really damp when you first turn it on and I fucking love it. <laughs> weird fact number three is I'm, re I'm weirdly really good at guessing people's star signs from little information about them. So um, like a good example of this is I went to Apocalypse which is like the goth night once a month here and I was sat at a table of three or four people and I guessed three out of four of their star signs correctly just by having literally a small conversation because like star signs have really big or common traits and by talking to someone and getting to know them you can learn their traits and stuff and I'm just really good at guessing star signs so yeah not really a useful talent but it's my party trick I guess Do you know all my life people have been like oh this is my party trick oh that's such a good party trick and I don't have one but now I've discovered I can guess people's star signs so that's pretty fun <laughs> weird fact number four is I feel like I know how I died in my past life so whether you believe in it or not is one thing but I feel like I know in my past life because I am I'm quite claustrophobic not in terms of like just like a cupboard or something but being trapped and being crushed and being like caved in and I have a horrible horrible fear of ribs other people's ribs aren't too bad but my own if anyone tries to touch my ribs I will just freak the fuck out like if someone's hugging me I'm like stay away from my ribs and Jake has this thing where he likes to like tickle my tummy and if he gets too close to my ribs like it really really stresses me out um like I had a so I I've always had pains in my ribs growing up they've always been really really painful for no reason I've never broken a rib nothing like that but they just always really really hurt it's like specifically the bottom bit that really sticks out and so I went to the doctor about it and she was like, well, I'm going to have to feel your ribs. And I was like, please don't come near me, please don't touch me. And she put these gloves on and it was just really stressing me out. And she went to touch me and I freaked out and I was like, don't come near me. She was like, 
has anybody hurt you? And I was like, this is the most cringe thing of my life. No one's like, nothing like that. Just do not touch my fucking ribs. It really stressed me out. So I don't know what it is, but I feel like in a past life, like, I don't know, I was in like a tunnel and the ground collapsed on me and the pressure of it like broke my ribs. I don't know. I feel like in my past life, I was crushed. My ribs were crushed. And now in this life, I cannot stand ribs or like underground tunnels. Like, ugh, stresses me out. I don't like the thought of that. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Fact number five is I have to smell everything before I eat it. Not like normal food, but food that if I've never tried it before, I always have to smell it. Like if we're in a restaurant and Jake orders something, he's oh try this and I'm like let me smell it and it really really winds him up because if I give something for him to try he'll just eat it straight away. But I have to like smell it, take a tiny little taste, look at it again, give it another smell. I have to be sure that I actually want to try the food and it really stresses Jake out, he gets really annoyed by it. He's like just eat it and I'm like oh god. <laughs> okay, weird fact number six is really really embarrassing and oh, it's just, it's embarrassing, okay. So I am overly obsessed with Pierce the Veil, as many of you guys know. Um, if you don't know who they are, they're like a post-hardcore band from San Diego and I am in love, I'm in love with them. So um, <laughs> there's a band who are from the same area as me, the band's called Creeper, I don't know if any of you guys know them, they're kind of big, um, so yeah. They, they're from near where I'm from. I don't think any of them really live in the area anymore, but they're from Southampton. So quite often they'll be back in Southampton. Um, the main dude, Will, he's been into the shop that I work in a couple of times, so I've seen him around. And another member of the band, the drummer, Dan. I seem to see him whenever I go out, he's always out. So my friend Katie is really good friends with the band and I don't know she's good friends with them and so the first time I met them I was in the edge and she introduced me to Dan and so I had a little chat stuff like that and then I suddenly thought oh my goodness Creeper are touring with Pierce the Veil and this is before they toured so the whole time I was just chatting about Pierce the Veil and this guy's probably like shut the hell up like who is this girl harassing me about Pierce the Veil but he hadn't actually I think he may have met them but I don't, I don't know I think they knew each other but they hadn't gone on tour together yet I think oh, they opened them in like one show, I don't know, I don't, I can't remember but yeah so basically he knew Pierce the Veil and I was like obsessed and so that night's finished blah 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 and then a couple of weeks ago I went to Apocalypse like I said the goth night near where, near where I'm from and Dan was there again and this time he had been on tour with them all over America so I was like this is my fucking time so I spend a good 40% of the night chasing Dan around but trying to act casual and trying to like accidentally like bump into him and like oh I didn't see that oh it's you and then he clearly had no idea who the fuck I was but I was like Katie you know Katie he was like oh yeah so I was like right common ground let's talk about Katie and then I'm like so here's the veil I'm literally so embarrassing I'm like oh who's your favorite member what are they like and he's like oh I really get on with Jaime we were drinking and I was like was it whiskey and he was like uh yeah I was like Jameson's he was like um yeah like I know too much about this band I'm a pure embarrassment when I'm out and I'm drunk and there's someone who knows Pierce the Veil I once walked around Stonehenge at the summer solstice just shouting asking if anyone knew Pierce the Veil I found a fan in the end hooray <laughs> but yeah so I'm pretty embarrassing when I'm drunk and it comes to Pierce the Veil <laughs> um weird fact number seven is I like really weird combinations of food that other people think are disgusting so one of my favourite meals, when my mum used to work later, so she, so I'd come home from school at about half past three and my mum would, um, she'd stay on to work till six, so she'd be home at half six, so I'd make my own dinner. Um, so my favourite meal to make was, I'd have two corn burgers and I'd cut them up into little sections. I'd make a big bowl of cauliflower cheese, only microwave, like I wasn't good at cooking, <laughs> I'm still not good at cooking. So a big bowl of microwave of cauliflower cheese, loads of chopped up corn burgers and then spaghetti shapes all mixed in together and that was my favourite dinner, it was so good. But obviously I could only have it once a week but I'd come home on a Friday when my mum worked late because no one else would eat that dinner and my mum would not serve that to me as a dinner. So that was my favourite thing to eat. I also really really love chocolate spread and cucumber sandwiches. Oh my god, they're so good. Like, don't knock it till you've tried it. It's good. 
weird fact number eight is that when I was at my sister's wedding, I was a bridesmaid and I was sat in the front row and I felt my granddad, the ghost of my granddad, put his hand on my shoulder in like a really comforting way. It's like he was there at the wedding. And I just think that is so nice. Like everyone's like, well, how do you know it's your granddad? And like, I don't know, you just know, you just know in your heart and you can feel it. Like it wasn't, it wasn't a scary ghost, it wasn't anything bad, I didn't feel a negative vibe, I just felt really at ease and really at peace and a little bit emotional actually, so it was really nice, very nice. Um, strange fact number nine is that, like, obviously I like to dress different and I have, you know, I'm interested in clothes and fashion and stuff like that, but what a lot of people don't know is that I actually have a really big interest in the fashion industries and like mainstream fashion industry or more high end. Um, so for years and years I've always wanted to be either like a designer or a stylist or something to do in the industry for a while I wanted to be a buyer. Um, so I started a blog when I was 15 and I was really really into it as like as much as I am into YouTube now I was into my blog back then. It was just a little blog spot thing, it was called Dixie Plum Pixie and I would write posts every week, several times a week and I had different like sections, different things so I had like... Um, I can't remember what it's called, it was like wardrobe staples and I'd like write about each piece that you should definitely have in your wardrobe. I'd do like what's hot little trend reports and I ended up collaborating with a woman called Anya Saar who is a stylist and has worked with Kim Kardashian so who would guess by looking at me <laughs> that I'm really into the fashion industry and actually quite passionate about trends and um, stuff like that. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> and right, so strange fact number 10 is really strange and it's, it's kind of a phobia or more like like nails on a chalkboard how it's a really you know people don't like it so my biggest thing is i agree with emily boo on a hands fingernails in carpet I, that makes me feel horrific my friends at work know that i can't touch the carpet so if something drops on the floor then demi at work always helps pick things up because i just i can't touch the carpet with my nails it's hideous but the other thing that really stresses me out to that extreme same with my ribs is lunch boxes it sounds so stupid it's not the lunch box itself it's when you like you come home from school and your lunch box is lunch box your lunch box is like half empty and you open it up and a there's the smell the smell of it is just rancid b it's all the little crumbs and they all get into the little corners and you can't quite get them out and that is just so hideous to me and the thing that makes me feel the most sick, like it just makes me like cringe and feel horrible, is when you've had a yogurt and you've got a little bit of yogurt or stickiness left on the spoon, and all the crumbs collect on. I <laughs> can't. All the crumbs collect on the spoon. I just, I can't. I literally can't cope with it. It's so grim. Like when I'm older and I have children, if my children want to take school lunch, like lunches to school, they're either a taking it in plastic bags they can just throw away, so I don't have to deal with it. B, having disposable spoons and just dumping it right there and then, or C, they're gonna have to clear the lunch boxes out themselves to a good standard because I, can't, I literally, I can't, I just want my children to have school dinners, I can't be leaving with a lunch box, it's the most disgusting thing of my life, I can't deal with it. <laughs> so, that was my strange facts about me or weird facts about me video, uh, I hope it provided some enjoyment to your day, um, let me know down below if you have any of the same weird things as me or anything like that and tell me one strange fact about you because I'd love to get to know you guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, if you would like to keep up with my life, I don't know why, it's not very exciting, but if you would then my social medias are linked down below, but I'm macabre goddess on pretty much everything besides Snapchat where I'm Dixie Plum Pixie, which is in the description box if need be. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!